What's going on, YouTube? This is the post-fight reaction of Sean Porter versus you guys. How did I see it going? I've heard a lot of people talking about that you guys got robbed, blah, 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 blah. When I scored this fight, I had it 115, 113, Sean Porter winning by two rounds, and I'm going to explain why. But before I do that, to the people who was coming to my live commentary, I'm very sorry for whatever reason. Whenever I streamed through my internet, or excuse me, my cable provider through my internet, I was two minutes behind the live fight. Whenever I came online with my phone, for whatever reason, it doesn't broadcast out saying that I'm streaming. So if you're not a subscriber, I can't get new people to watch. So I didn't see the point of leaving my phone up watching the fight. So to all those who joined and didn't get to hear the live commentary of all the fights, I'm very sorry. If... You know, me being two minutes behind in the future, if that's something y'all don't mind, say y'all don't have cable or whatever the reason, just let me know and I'll just stream two minutes behind everybody else and it won't be a big deal because we'll just all be watching it together. So let me know about that. But back to the point. This was not a robbery. I am all about calling out the WBC. I thought Deontay Wilder lost against Fury. I thought Jacobs beat Triple G. I thought Triple G beat Canelo. If not both times, at least the first time. So I'm all about calling out the WBC. I'm all about calling out anyone who cheats. I'm all about it. But in this particular fight, you guys is getting a lot more praise than he should. He did a great job. He outboxed Sean Porter at times. But here's the problem with you guys. Doing this. All these facial things doesn't win fights. You guys was very inactive at times. He had amazing counters. He countered Sean Porter really good, but he was nonstop getting hit by jabs and straights, and then Porter was moving. Jabs and straights, Porter was moving. Jabs to the body, Porter was moving. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you hit with one counter. This was the argument I had with Austin Trout against Canelo. Doesn't matter. One counter does not outweigh three to four jabs landed in your face. It doesn't. Sometimes quantity beats quality if the quantity is that much greater than the quality. See what I'm saying? Like for instance, I could buy a screw that will hold a board to a wall for say 10 years for a thousand dollars. But if I could buy a screw that say could only hold a board to the wall for a year for a penny, then that quantity is going to be better than the quality because for one penny, I can just keep replacing this. And in that 10 years, the one screw would go bad. I've only spent 10 cents replacing the qu quantity of the 10 cent screw. See what I'm saying? Sometimes quantity can be better than quality depending on the circumstance. And in this circumstance, sorry, I'm too tall for this. Let's raise it up a little. In this circumstance, I do not feel like you guys did enough to win the fight. Um, even if we would have gave him the knockdown on Porter, I still would have had him losing by a point. So at the end of the day, I feel that Sean Porter edged him out. I feel like Sean Porter was edging him out more and more as the fight progressed. I feel like you guys, if he would have just thrown more punches, could have won the fight. I believe the fight was there for him to take because he had some amazing counters. Some amazing counters. He was catching them real nice. But at the end of the day, he didn't do enough work to win. So all this robbery talk, all this bullshit talk is just that it's bullshit. It's coming from people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They just claim a robbery because WBC has a bad track record and they don't know how to score fights. Like I said, I was typing with a couple of people on Google Hangouts who subscribed to me the whole time scoring the fight. And I could have them comment. And I'll tell you, I had it 115, 113, Porter. Porter winning by two rounds. I believe one judge or ref, excuse me, judge, I said it right, came over 114, 112, which I don't even know how that's possible. But he also had it two, two points. That 111, 117 for you guys, I could not see that. Because if you guys would have won, I even said I would not have been mad if you guys won because they were very close fights. But me personally, how I was scoring it, how I was watching it, I just didn't think he did enough work. I think he was too inactive. Now we're coming back full circle to where I get repetitive. At the end of the day, it was not a robbery. It was a good fight. The right guy won. Sean Porter, I don't even like him. 
Y'all can see that I talk about Sean Porter's best punch is his head. I don't like Sean Porter. I would love to see him lose, but he didn't lose. He won the fight, two rounds, 113, 115, how I scored it, how I saw it, due to inactivity by you guys. Thank y'all for watching. Can't wait to see what y'all write in the comments.